Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In our previous video, we looked at how a payload type router works. In this video, let us see how a recipient list router works. Imagine a scenario like when you get a request, you have to send that request for processing to multiple external or backend systems. This is where a recipient list router comes into picture. You get a request and you forward that request to multiple systems parallelly. For this example, I've created a REST controller which is going to accept a student request body and I have an integration gateway that is our messaging gateway and there is a process method signature which is going to act as a gateway which is going to accept the student object and it is going to process it. So let's take a look at our integration gateway. The integration gateway is going to have a method signature process with a channel router.channel. So when a request comes from the controller to this integration gateway it will then route it to a service activator which is going to be our router method and this router method is going to act like a bean of recipient list router in this recipient list router we are going to set the student.channel.1 student.channel.2 you can have multiple you know uh, add recipients like this and when a request comes to this router channel the request should be forwarded to all the channels parallelly and simultaneously in this manner you can even set the order in which the a request has to be forwarded to the channels. Just quickly take a look at our service activators of student service. In the service activator of student service, I have two methods. One is receive method and the other is receive message one. So the request that comes to the router channel will be sent to student channel one and student channel two. Let's quickly run this example and let us see what is the behavior that we see here. Cool. So we have got the request to multiple channels here. We have got a we have got the student request to the uh, student channel dot one, and we have got also got the student request to the student dot channel dot two. So now, do you see the importance of recipient list router? It all depends upon your business needs. Thanks for watching, guys, and please subscribe for more such videos.